Go. Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you, basically, if you're a beginner and you are just starting out in Rainbow Six Siege, this is the perfect tutorial for you guys. So basically, as you can see, I'm a 187. I'm a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to show you basically if this is like your first ever time basically like, you know, loan up into the game. Or if you have, if you had played like a few matches and you're like, oh my god, like, why do I keep on dying? Like, I'm gonna show you how to, like, conquer that, you know? I'm gonna show you, like, sensitivity-wise. I'm gonna show you how to re uh, control recoil. I'm gonna show you some of the operators. So let's get down into it. So basically, first in options, we're gonna go to, basically, controls. That There is basically everything that you need. So obviously, I turn look in, in uh, inversion off because basically that will like mess around with you, and you don't really want to do that unless like. Actually, now that I think about it, there's like no real like situation that you really need to do that. But vibration, I put it on off because like if there's like basically if you don't know what the game is, then you won't know this. But if there's like a fuse or something, then basically that'll shake your screen repetitively and mess with uh, mess if you're like shooting or something, then they'll mess up like, you know, you shooting. So I just, so I strongly suggest you to turn that off uh, vertical sensitivity. I put mine at 50. Honest to God. It, like I'm not the best at control and recoil, but I'm good enough so that basically I can show some people what to do You know how to like conquer it. So basically I put the dead zone to 10 if you don't know what that is It's basically the d dead zone it, what it says set the dead zone percent value of the left stick This defines the threshold needed to detect input. So basically I put that you know at 10 like pretty low but don't like don't put it on like five you know i like i put mine on 10 because it just like because like you don't want to go like and then like literally like it messes up everything and like it's just the sensitivity pretty much on like like how much it detects you like you know press pressing a button so then right stick um yeah just same as that then put put that down control rotation basically it just it, like you should definitely put that on updated that's just my opinion so uh that just like basically makes it so that you can do like a 360 better or um you know it's just more consistent you know it's very consistent like you want to do a 360 okay go ahead there's no like there's no like re uh, what's the word like you know it doesn't like restrain you from doing it you know what i mean aim assist i turn that off because honestly, God, it messes you up so much, it's incredible. Now, if you're new to the game, you cannot use aim assist in a real match. I repeat, you cannot use aim assist in a real match. You can use it in a terrorist hunt, which is basically like versus AI, you know what I mean? You can use it in that, it works in that, but not in, also too, in custom games, but not like in like a real match. So basically, I will turn that off because basically, if you're like looking to the right, then it immediately like centers it like to the left. If you've ever played GTA before, basically think of it as that. Like it's that like sensitive. So um, control ADS sensitivity. Let's go into that. Um, there's nothing really much in that. Honestly, God, I haven't really even played around with that. And in fact, I didn't even know that that was there. So like, I wouldn't really mess around with it too, too much. Gadget deployment. Basically, if you put it on, hold on. Yeah, if you put it on standard, basically you press X and then like it completely like does it for you. I put mine on advance because say if like you're like, you know, reinforcing the objective or like you're placing down something, it like, and you try and then somebody's shooting at you. You can't like stop and then like, you know, aim in. You gotta like, you gotta wait for it to completely deploy and then by that time you're probably dead if they're like, you know, a pretty good player. So I turn that to advanced, you know, because it just helps a lot. Join deployment, basically it's advanced because that basically means if you deploy a drone, it won't automatically go onto the cam because if you're just trying to throw dr drone for bait, then yeah, put it on advanced. And if you like for some reason like you know are trying to throw it and then immediately look on it Then you can switch it to standard, but I put mine on advanced controller layout I uh, this is the default one you can use any other that like you choose But like if you select through each one then it shows you know like the different options So basically a video you want to turn your brightness to like 65 pretty much That's where I put mine on not too too bright, but not too too dark, you know so that you can see well a lot of YouTubers you'll see put it on 100. That's too bright. It's really bright and you cannot see. 
So I strongly suggest you to put that to 65. V-Sync doesn't really matter. You don't, you can turn it on or off. It doesn't really matter. And then basically just like voice chat options, which you can do. And yeah, drone after prep. I want to talk about this. Semi-automatic. You should definitely do that because like if you're like trying to scan somebody and then drone phase ends if you put that to automatic it will completely kick you out but if it's on semi-automatic if you're spectating somebody else's drone then basically it will like automatically like go out for you and it's really helpful but like if you're on your own drone then it won't kick you out and then like your drone will get destroyed so that's really helpful so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go into a terrorist hunt with my friend and basically i'm going to show you how to control recoil all right see you guys there all right, so basically in this terrorist hunt, I'm gonna go as Sledge because basically that just shows a perfect, like, you know, representation on how to control recoil. And I brought my friend in here, say hi. What's up? Yeah, so basically he's just gonna be here for support. And you know what? We might even finish this ter terrorist hunt with them to basically show them, like, you know, the, like, how, just like the basics, you know, because mm -hmm. remember. If you're watching this video, you probably have no idea, like, what to do. And, like, you know what? You're here in the right place. So, let's go. All right, and then I'm going to cut it. Bomb must be located All right. And All right, but keep your heads. All right, so now we're in. Basically, the operator that I'm going is Sledge. Basically, Finca here is going Finca, because that's his name. <laughs> so, basically, I'm going to go up to a random wall, and then this is what it looks like if you don't control recoil. You just shoot. Yeah, see how it goes everywhere. Now let's go onto this wall, and then I'm gonna control you. See, now if a lot of YouTubers use that, basically it would go, like they would control it perfectly. I obviously am not completely perfect, but I can control it pretty darn good. I mean, compared to this, it looks pretty nice. So basically what you wanna do is go onto a random wall, like just if you're practicing, Basically, what you want to do is you want to hold the right stick down. Now, first time when you do it, obviously it's not going to be perfect, but like, just keep on shooting and then you'll finally get the gist of it. Now, that was terrible, I know, but just like, it'll take you some time to find the gist of it, like, you know, the sensitivity and stuff like that. So, pretty much, we're going to do this terrorist hunt with you because I'll show you some of the basics on, like, you know, how to do it. I don't know if we're going to complete it or not, you know, win it, but let's just... So, basically, this is AI. Mind you, this is against AI. This is not against, like, an online match, you know. So, there's a pretty good amount of AIs, but at the same exact time, it's really balanced out. And they actually just fixed the frame rate, which is amazing. You just have to do a really good job on that. Mm -hmm. They definitely did. Yeah. So, basically... Ooh, wow, that's a lot of them. So, basically... Try not to panic as much when you see somebody. I know that obviously it's sometimes stressful, but just try not to panic that, that much because um, they can, you know, just... You won't play on your complete best if you're not, like, you know, focused, you know. You gotta become at least a little bit focused. So basically, our objective right now is to basically plant a diffuser two times on two bomb sites. So basically, I'm gonna hide behind this shield, and I'm gonna plant the diffuser. And make sure you watch your friend as well. Exactly. Yeah. Make sure that you cover your friends. I'm going outside. I'm not completely leaving them alone, but I'm also too just making it so that I can have a good angle on them. And in fact, I'm going back inside because they can also too spawn outside. So watch out for that. Make sure that you're careful with stuff. Alright. So now they're going to be spawning at a lot, and that's okay because that's normal. So. Actually, I'm gonna do a smart play. Sledgehammer this. And, oh, okay, whatever. I gotta go over here and jump in. Nice, we got him. So he was trying to defuse, and Enemy I died here. But let's spectate Finca, and he can hopefully show you how to do the rest. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is watch the objective until the timer goes out, basically. It's kinda not hard. Yep, yeah, okay. yeah, I'd die right here. Basically, um, we're putting this in on hard, um, but if you're new to the game, I strongly suggest you do normal. Like, like, strongly suggest you, yeah, do normal, um, do but, not go uh, on to, like, realistic. One, one tip, stay off of realistic unless you have a five-man squad. Um, realistic is very hard due to the fact that there's a lot of enemies in one room. You can get dumped on solo. 
So it's best to just play on hard or normal. Recommend is really normal. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Basically, just make sure, like, be careful with the stuff that you choose because, you know, it could be like, yet again, realistic is not really, like, that, that much realistic as you think. Okay, don't click on realistic unless if, like, you're experienced or, yes, like you said, you got a five squad. Or if, hey, you just want to go in and see how it is, go ahead. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So, I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial. I basically just tried to go through, you know, as much as I can. Next tutorial, I'm going to go through the operators, which will be posted in a little bit. So, I appreciate you guys. Go check it out. I make weekly videos. They're hilarious. I make montages. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. And we say bye-bye.